Hey YouTube, WYSIWYG 101 here. Showing a little VR support for VA Merck, who's got a nifty little contest going on right now. Congratulations VA Merck for uh, submitting on YouTube for a year now. Pretty impressive. Can't wait till I get to that point myself. Anyways, uh, here's something I'd like to do. Um, if I win, um, and you've got some really good prizes, by the way. But if I should win, I'd like to pay it forward to a friend of mine. And I'll uh, I'll provide his name at the end. But to answer some of your questions, um, you wanted to know about my favorite firearm. Now, this is not the first time that this question has come up. So, my answers are going to be pretty dead gum easy. My favorite firearm is my first firearm. I did quite a bit of research before I purchased it. I considered a Springfield XD 9mm subcompact. Um, the, the Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm were just coming out at that point and uh, I don't believe at that time they had a compact version so that wasn't really a choice. Um, I also had a few other choices that I was interested in at that time and then I came across this one right here and what got me quite a bit was the price point um, I like the price I love the Springfield XD, I love the way it feels in my hand every time I pick one up um, but unfortunately at, this, at that time and even now I just didn't have the money for it um, so I was able to get my Ruger SR9C. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can't get that to. You can barely see the lettering there. Anyways, this is my Ruger SR9C right here. Um, nine millimeter, which I prefer. Um, I think it uh, combines. Uh, once again, a good cost point with uh, a healthy dose of lethality if I ever need it. Um, I went to a gun show and I held this in my hand. Uh, and I held an XD in my hand. I love the XD the way it feels. Um, but I really like the way this feels also. So I realized real quickly that for the price point, which was, uh, I want to say, $416 out the door, tax included, um, I got a great deal at that time. Um, it has the standard, uh, I don't know if you can see that, three dot sights. These are adjustable for um, elevation, and the front sight is adjustable if you tap it for windage. Um, dig that quite a bit. It does have a manual safety. It's got a trigger safety and it had a magazine disconnect safety till I took it out. It's got a loaded chamber when or loaded went up chamber indicator. I like that quite a bit. You'll notice at this time that it is down indicating that this firearm is safe. I've got it uh, packed away because I'm about to go on a trip to Washington, D.C. And uh, I don't want to leave a loaded firearm laying around for somebody to, you know, blow their head off with. Um, I have modified this in that I uh, got some uh, 1,000 grit sandpaper and I sanded this down as well as the barrel and then buffed it up and polished it up quite a bit. So it makes this real nice and shiny. I don't know if you can tell that. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. So, I really do like this. So, this is my favorite weapon. My favorite firearm. I hope that I never, ever have to use it uh, against another human being. But uh, I am prepared for that eventuality. Uh, here in the next few months, I will be looking for my CHL, uh, or not looking for, I will be applying for my CHL. And uh, so I guess that about wraps it up about the gun. Um, I do want to thank you for introducing me to Half Yankee. 
Um, turns out he's right here in my neck of the woods. Who knows? Maybe we'll, t we'll get to go shooting sometime. Now, for my pay it forward. I do not have an AR-15. Nor do I have an AK-47. Though I'd like to own one. Um, either one. I don't care. Or both. Um, and I and I really like that little translucent, uh, translucent uh, ruby, um, ruby red uh, Victorinox. That is really sharp. I, I I used to have a Victorinox about like that style, and uh, it's really nice. But I'd like to pay this forward to a really good friend of mine, who who he's just he's just a good guy. His name is Mark sixteen sixteen. I urge you to uh, look him up because uh, he's real. He's a real good guy, worthy to know. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, please hit the like button if you like what you see. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, subscribe. Stay safe and shoot straight.